Hey guys, this is Joe with Millennium. OTDR versus Olts testing. What the heck is the difference, okay? OTDR testing, it's very basic. It's used for finding issues and giving you an idea of what the issue is. Olts testing. Olts testing is going to essentially give you a birth certificate of when you're turning up a network that the events from point A to point B all meet the parameters set forth by the engineer. So it is not a tool for troubleshooting where an issue is. However, it is the gold standard. Olts bi-directional testing is a gold standard for turning up a network. It is the only way we can measure the loss from your head end to a house. In the OTDR, it's going to give us a really good estimate of what the loss is going to be at each event, but it is a tool for troubleshooting. You could use ults to segment and try to find a trouble, but it's going to take a whole lot more time with your ults tester. Often, we are um, specking and renting out and selling um, OTDRs and OLTS testers where they're set up in a platform. So this particular platform has an OTDR module and an OLTS module. So when customers are turning up their networks, a lot of times they're asking for those two uh, reports. That OLTS test is a birth certificate it's spanking a baby on its butt to make sure it's healthy. That is what we do with that OLTS test. That's the only way to certify we've got that healthy network. Then the OTDR shot is to identify where each element is within that network, the splice, the connectors, your splitters, so on and so forth. So a lot of ISPs, you network owners, a lot of times you don't need an OLTS tester. But your contractors, you should definitely have an OLTS tester in your toolbox.